In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to set up some artwork in CorelDRAW and show you how to utilize patterns to create a piece of word art and also another design for a t-shirt. The first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and set up our desired design here on the page. In order to do that, I'm just going to select the font that I want. This particular design will be for a kid's shirt. So to do something very simple here, I'm going to type in the child's name. At that point, once I have the font selected, I'm going to go to Arrange and Convert to Curves. I'd like to place an image inside of this design. First, I need to import the image. Go to File, Import, and then bring in the image. As you can see, I'm bringing in the file type JPEG here in order to place it inside of the text. Click on that to import it, and I'm going to drop the pattern onto my screen. Now I need to put the pattern within the text, and to do this, I'm going to perform the power clip function in Corel. So make sure your JPEG image is selected. Go to Effects, Power Clip, then place this image inside of the container. It's going to ask me to select the container with this arrow, and in this case the container is the text. That's what I want the pattern to show up inside of. So now it's placed inside the text. Let me make this a little larger so you can see. So we've achieved a pattern piece of text. If I wanted to edit the contents, I can go back to the power clip feature, click on edit contents, and you can see the text here. And I can move the pattern around so that it drops inside of the text exactly how I want it. Once I'm finished with my placement, I can go back to Power Clip and say Finish Editing. Now this design is ready to print onto a shirt. But when I'm working with patterns, I like to create an outline around the design. It just makes the pattern stand off more on the garment. In order to do that, make sure I have my text selected, go up to Effects again, and click on Contour this time. It brings a menu here on the right side of the screen. I want to place an outline to the outside and specify my offset. So if I want a quarter of an inch, it's 0.25. Let's start with 0.1. Click Apply and you can see the outline that showed up completely around my design. At that point, if I wanted to change the color of the outline, Right now this is reading as one object, the foreground and the background. So I have, it, I have to have it selected and I need to go to Arrange and Break Contour Group Apart. This is going to allow me to zoom in with the zoom feature here. And with the selection tool, the pick tool, I select my background. And at that point I can assign a new color. So if I want the background color to be blue, I can simply assign that. As you can see, assign any color that you have set up in your color palette. In this case, let's try a deep navy blue. At that point, I'll zoom out so you can get a full look. And now that's ready to be digital printed. Of course, you'll need to set it up for your particular RIP program that you're utilizing. In this case, I'm utilizing VersaWorks. So I'll set that up in the other part of our digital transfer printing news edition, you're able to see when I print this design. Now let me show you one more design. Once again, I'm going to select the font that I want, so I use the same font. In this case, I'm going to type in the child's name and start a separate line of text. And this is for, let's say, a second birthday t-shirt. So I'll put a number two there. If I want to utilize a pattern inside of a circle, and this is very popular, I'm going to create my circle, make sure my text is not interfering with that for now. Once again, I'm going to import that pattern, the JPEG file, and place it onto my page.
Now, the same thing as before, I go into Effects, Power Clip, Place Inside of Container. Now instead of placing it in the text, this time I'll place the pattern inside of the circle. Now what I would like to do is take this number 2 and drop it inside of the design. Now you can't see it because it's the background. So I'm going to have to go to Arrange and Order and I'll bring that number 2 to the front that I have selected. And I'll size it a little more proportional with the circle design. In order for that number 2 to stand out a little bit, I'm going to put the offset to 0.1 again around the outside and apply. Remember, if I wanted to break this apart to change the colors of the foreground and background, I go to Arrange, Break Contour Group Apart. At this point, I'll zoom in, select the outline color, and let's make the outline white. and now the foreground color and let's use that same deep navy blue that matches nicely with my pattern design. At this point after I've changed the color of the child's name I have a nice front design for a t-shirt. If I want to make sure everything is centered nicely I can select it all, go to arrange, click on align and distribute and then click align centers vertically. You can see now everything is in perfect alignment, so I'm able to send it to my print cut device to prepare it for application.